Hi, I'm Sandy Shrek for LVR Educates, and today we're going to create an elongated dozen rows design. If you're just showing your dozen roses on your website in the traditional style, you're really doing your customers a disservice. By creating this elongated design, it's the perfect centerpiece for a table. We're going to add some textural influences um, by using some techniques with Aspidistra. Here you can see that we just simply curled the end and brought it back on itself. So I've placed a little piece of U-glue on the back side there and I'm just going to come in and attach that right onto that leaf so you can see that that creates a great structure. Do that one more time again. And this can go either way, tucking under or tucking forward. Um, but it just is a little bit unique and different look. So those will extend out the ends. A couple other ways that we can add visual interest through this is to be able to just um, tear this aspidistra leaf. And aspidistra does not brown when you um, rip it. So I'm just going to come in and push my finger through and create some more ribbon type structures with this aspidistra. Another way to simply use aspidistra as basing is bringing it and just curling it back on itself. So I'm going to come in here and just pierce that leaf right in there. And then I can use this in a design this way or this way, just depending on how visual you want the loop to be. And so we're going to put that kind of into the middle of our design, but it's a fast and easy way to be able to do some basing. And it's repetitious of the technique that we used on the other piece. Lastly, we're going to take a look at creating these ribbon style flowers with Aspidistra. And you just go back to the technique where we brought this into strips. And then I'm just going to break that cambium a little bit on that stem. Do a nice sharp cut so I have a point and then come in here. And so you can just come back and forth. And there you can see how you can create another textural um, influence that you can add in. One other unique way to do it is to actually lay a wire down in between two aspidistra leaves and then I added some pieces of U-glue through the middle and then I'm able to utilize that wire to create some fun, fun dimensional shapes um, that you can utilize in design as well. Now that we have some of those textural techniques done, we're going to go ahead and get started with our dozen rows design. So today we're going to be starting with an elegant gold pottery container. You can see that I've elevated the foam up over the lip of the container and that's to be able to make sure I can get some really strong depth of my insertions coming in from that angle. So why don't we get started creating that frame. So I'm coming in and going back and forth, making sure I'm down into the foam. So using my hands to see if I'm similar length apart. And so setting the side pieces, then we're going to start setting the pieces as they're coming across. If we want to think about this being a centerpiece, you want to stay below 
that um, magic height so that there's transparency for the consumers to be able to see across the table. And just coming in, going back and forth. So I set my size through there and then coming in down and putting the four pieces down in the lower quadrant, coming across. And then I'm gonna come in and just come in between those insertions. So you can see I didn't start with a lot of foliage in here because I wanna um, be able to get all these stems in. You can see I'm running into some stems already. Um, but you want nice deep insertions to really be able to have that customer get that great um, long lasting ability with your dozen rows design. So there you can see the frame of the dozen roses and then we're going to add some of our slal. I'm going to cut a couple of these corners off the foam to just have a little bit less to hide. There. You can see how those two um, sets of leaves really enhance that coming across one side to the other, and I'm going to be able to fill in the center area very fast by using these aspidistra curled leaves. So here's our creative design where we elongated the roses so they make a great centerpiece. Adding those textural qualities and the depth and the motion that the aspidistra and the lily grass add to this arrangement really elevates it. And that green trick dianthus just bringing in that additional texture that draws you in and adds that depth into the design. I hope you'll take this design, add it to your website if you're just showing your basic dozen, you're doing your customers a disservice. Make sure, add some creativity in there and have your customers talk about your designs. I'm Sandy Shrek for LBR Educates and I hope I've inspired you to create some fabulous florals.